Welcome, builders of the internet. My name is Jessa and I work in the construction industry. There is a lot of motivation to make things more environmentally friendly in efforts to reduce global warming. And in construction, there are many, many examples of new buildings that use cutting edge technology in order to be super sustainable and allegedly contributing near to nothing in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. However, the reality is that for places such as the UK, there are already so many existing buildings there that it would be pretty inconvenient, expensive and wasteful to demolish what we already have and rebuild lots of new low carbon buildings. So today I'm going to be talking about something a bit more realistic, how we can make existing buildings more sustainable. In particular I'll cover retrofitting, what it is, why it could be a good option and its advantages and disadvantages. As always you can find my timestamps and sources in the description. What is retrofitting? Retrofitting in construction is where you change your building's existing systems or structure after it's already been built in order to meet current needs and purposes. This can involve fitting new technology into older systems and a simple everyday example would be changing light bulbs from say filament lamps which waste a lot of heat energy to more efficient LEDs. You can have different objectives with what aspect of a building you might want to improve, say reinforcing the structure to make the building hold up better against seismic activity or earthquakes, or improving the energy and water efficiency. Ideally, whatever systems you choose to fit should be an improvement compared to what was available beforehand. There is the potential to retrofit many types of buildings, from houses all the way to big commercial buildings like shopping centres or offices. Each project will have its own optimum solution, and it's usually better to think of the building as a whole rather than just focusing on one element to improve. This is because focusing on one area can cause detrimental effects elsewhere. One example is where you might try to seal a building to improve its air tightness, but this could result in more condensation problems later. Why retrofit? As I mentioned in some of my other videos, a fair portion of emissions comes from buildings and the construction industry. It's estimated that existing housing contributes around 35% to carbon dioxide emissions. So, with retrofitting working to improve the efficiencies and energy consumption of what's already been built, it can save the wasteful practice of completely demolishing and replacing a building. It could be seen as one of the more promising solutions to help reduce global warming and climate change. Retrofitting can have additional benefits to people who use these buildings too. Say if you install better windows, maybe double or even triple glazed, this can help control the daylight that enters the buildings. Windows combined with additional insulation and or improved heating and ventilation systems can help manage the internal environment by ensuring better airflow and more stable temperatures. All these installations can improve how comfortable the living space is, therefore increasing the user satisfaction and ultimately driving up the price and the value of the building too. Retrofitting can also be cost effective in the long term. By helping buildings reduce their energy consumption, it can lead to other benefits, such as reducing how much it costs to operate and maintain buildings. Many have even found a reduction in their energy bills following a retrofit. Retrofit technologies. In this section, I'll give a brief overview on what could be done to retrofit buildings. Just to reiterate though, that it's better to think of a building as a whole, rather than just an individual element. Insulation. This is quite a common practice for retrofitting and is a good way of controlling temperature in the house. Insulation in the walls, the floors and the roofs can help keep the heat in when it's cold in winter or keep the heat out when it's hot in summer. Lighting. You can replace less efficient filament bulbs with more efficient LEDs. Also, there is the potential to install systems that automatically turn off after a certain amount of time or are sensor activated or even having adjustable controls to make them brighter or dimmer. Water conservation. 
Lots of things can be done to help water usage, such as dual flush WCs that have settings to flush at a lower power, or rainwater harvesting features such as water butts, and different types of shower heads that require lower water flow to perform the same functions. Renewable systems. Houses can also have solar cells fitted, which can convert light to electricity. There's also solar heating devices that can be used to heat up water, as well as wind and water power to help bring down the energy needed from non-renewable sources. Benefits There are many advantages to retrofitting, which I've mentioned already, but I'll reiterate them here. Improving the structures and systems of a building can increase its lifespan and overall performance. There have been several cases of overcoming issues such as poor ventilation and damp by implementing systems to improve indoor air quality. This can then actually improve the productivity and satisfaction of people inside the building. The next advantage is that it can reduce carbon emissions and be a really effective way of meeting sustainability targets. It's estimated that over two thirds of buildings that will exist in 2050 have already been built, so it does make sense to work on improving what we already have to reduce waste. Demolition of buildings can release so many hazardous particulates and emissions, harmful to human health and the well-being of the environment overall, so retrofitting can help keep this to a minimum. Finally, it can help save costs when running and maintaining the building, where energy bills could decrease as a result. However, it's worth considering the challenges that come with it too. Retrofitting can be an incredibly complicated and inconvenient process, especially with older buildings, where the materials and original techniques used to put the buildings together could be drastically different to modern methods. If the builders carrying out the works are negligent or make mistakes, it can cause further and major damage, so it's important to ensure that the workers on site have relevant expertise. Historical buildings can be damaged especially easily with these processes too, so the best thing would probably be to get an expert to analyse the building before proceeding to retrofit it. The second disadvantage comes with methods such as adding insulation. This can reduce the amount of usable space inside the building slightly, making some areas feel smaller. Lastly, there is still a lot of research, education and training needed around this subject. For example, there isn't as much information available on the long-term effects of retrofitting techniques, and there is still a need to improve awareness and training of how to even go about with this option. Thanks for watching this video. Retrofitting can be done to many types of buildings, even to our own homes. Before deciding whether retrofitting is the right solution, it's definitely worth considering if the investment is a worthwhile upgrade to the existing building conditions, because it can have a relatively expensive cost upfront. You may also need to have surveys by professionals done to determine what can realistically be done to improve your building as a whole, rather than looking at one individual constituent, because changing one area can cause unwanted changes elsewhere. If you end up finding a retrofit solution that's worthwhile, this could be a really great way of helping reduce emissions, improve the quality of the building and saving money. That's all I have to say about construction for now. I hope it helped build on your mind. Thanks for watching this channel. It's building on my mind. Check out my other videos. But first, hit the bell and comment, like, and subscribe.